On Parade, 15 minutes of music in the modern manner, sweet and slow, light and bright, produced for your entertainment by the Directorate of Public Relations of the Australian Army, featuring Laurie Wilson and the Hammond organ and backed by the On Parade Quintet. Well, here we are again. You know, there's always something interesting happening in the Army. I've learned a few very interesting points about the Australian Army Educational Corps in this last week. I knew, of course, that the Army had such a corps devoted to furthering soldiers' educational standards, but some of their tasks surprised me, for there are quite a few of them off the beaten track. But more of that later on. Here's our first number from the quintet, Manhattan. <laughs> Thanks, boys. That breezy little effort was for W01 John Carter of Oakley, Victoria. Warrant Officer Carter is lecturer in current affairs at Headquarters Southern Command. His job is to lecture to officers and other ranks throughout Victoria and keep them abreast of current affairs at home and abroad. Very necessary background for every soldier. Also essential for the soldier are maths and English. And to teach these two subjects to soldiers as part of the technical courses, WO2 Foss Barton is attached to the School of Signals at Balcom. For WO Barton, Hazel McInerney is here to sing I'll Take Romance. I'll take romance While my arms are strong And eager for you I'll give my arms a cue I'll take romance I'll take romance While my heart is young And eager to fly I'll give my heart a try I'll take romance so my lover, when you want me, call me in the hush of the evening. When you call me in the hush of the evening, I'll rush to my first real romance. While my heart is young and eager and gay, I'll give my heart away, I'll take romance. I'll run. 
rush to my first real romance while my heart is young and eager and gay i'll give my heart away i'll take romance Two of the current odd jobs are the teaching of English to members of the Pacific Islands Regiment at Port Moresby, New Guinea, to replace Pigeon English, and the teaching of English to members of the Burmese Army undergoing courses at the Royal Australian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers Trade Training Centre at Bandiana, near Albury. In order that the Burmese attending courses at the centre may better grasp their trades, WO2 Ken Cook has been teaching them to speak better English. An unusual job, I think you'll agree. Warrant Officer Cook, so we are told, likes the hammered organ. So here's Lottie Wilson with that melodic little lady, Marianne. <laughs> Thank you, Lolly. That was splendid. At home or abroad, the Australian soldier has every possible facility available to further his education. Toward this end, both Warrant Officer John Carter, whom we mentioned earlier, and Staff Sergeant Jim Dodd spent some considerable time with the Australians in Korea. Staff Sergeant Dodd, who hails from Brisbane, left the army to go back to civilian life after his return from Korea. Well, he stayed out for a little while, but he liked the army so much that he rejoined. And he's now teaching for army certificates of education in and around Brisbane. So for you, Jim, here's our quintet with Mountain Greenery. <laughs>
And that's all for the boys in the Australian Army Educational Corps. Now this is Chris Christensen saying cheerio until the same time next week when this program produced by the Directorate of Public Relations of the Australian Army and recorded by AWA is again on parade.